Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Shalesh. Uh, I'm the resident in internal medicine at University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences here in Little Rock. We are presenting an interesting case of psychosis related to mexilatine. And uh, as we know, mexilatine is an overly active uh, antiarrhythmic belonging to class uh, 1B of uh, Walker and William classification. Uh, mechanism action for mexilatine is similar to lidocaine. It acts on sodium channels and inhibits uh, sodium incurrent and thus it reduces the rate of uh, rise of action potential in phase zero of action potential. It is uh, generally used as a second line therapy or add-on therapy for uh, patients with ventricular tachycardia. Mexilatine uh, commonly produces GI and nervous system side effects. Neurological side effects are minor and uh, most common are uh, lightheadedness, uh, tremors, uh, coordination difficulties. There are also changes in sleep habits, uh, paresthesia, numbness, weakness, and fatigue. However, in uh, very few cases, around 1 to 2 percent, confusion or clouded sensorium can also be seen. Psychosis has never been reported with mixolytine. However, psychosis has been seen with uh, patients on uh, other antiarrhythmic, particularly uh, belonging to class 1 and, and class 1C. And psychosis in these patients is hypothesized to be due to action uh, of these drugs on sodium channels in central nervous system. Here we report a case of mixolatine uh, related psychosis uh, which was seen after increasing the dose of mixolatine. And we believe that mixolatine also caused psychosis similar to uh, the psychosis caused by other antiarrhythmic uh, 1A and 1C class. And we suggest that caution should be uh, used during up titration or initiation of mixolatine at, as it may potentially lead to uh, psychosis and which could be devastating in some patients.